Today I want to find out what is the best hot chocolate recipe on the internet. This the season for cold weather and hot beverages. I asked you guys what is the best holiday cozy winter drink that you can think of and most of you agreed that it was hot chocolate and I agree with you guys. I selected five of the most popular hot chocolate videos on YouTube. I'm gonna try every single one of them and rate them from 1 to 10 in order to determine what is the best hot chocolate on the internet. And by internet, I mean uh, YouTube. Okay, first off, we have Adam Ragusia with his video called Hot Chocolate with Homemade Honey Marshmallows. Okay, first I wanna start off by karate chopping some 70% dark chocolate and just sorta of roughly cut it since we're gonna use it pretty often to Today. And I will start with some whole milk. Heat goes on medium, nice and easy. Then in goes the dark chocolate. We want to gently melt it while stirring constantly. So after the chocolate has relatively incorporated, I'm gonna add just a bit of sugar because I don't like it too sweet. I might just do a little bit of pinch of salt, but other than that, if it was just for me, I'd stop right there. So that's exactly what I did. I added a bit of salt and stopped there because I want a pure Ragusia experience. I simulated his tiny marshmallows by cutting up some of my big ones and there you go, Adam Ragusia hot chocolate. I have high expectations, I like your channel. Mm. Oh, I think it's good. It's really good, uh, but for me, it's a bit too simple. Adam, I like it. I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Okay, next we have Hot Chocolate Three Ways from one of my favorite YouTube channels, You Suck at Cooking. This one starts similarly with some milk and just a few blocks of our precious dark chocolate that I'm just carelessly taking apart. We're gonna slowly heat things up. We're not in a rush. It won't take long. We'll just get that milk heated up. Making sure not to boil the milk. Let's ignore that boiling again. And then we sweeten the deal up with some dark sugar. I respect this decision. So I didn't fit the requirements for not adding the ginger, ginger powder. powder. If you don't like awesome things, I recommend not adding the ginger because this kicks major ass. So I had to add it in. And there you go, a uh, you suck at cooking simple hot chocolate. As you can see, this one is not very flashy, which I kind of appreciate. It's not like relying on toppings to impress you. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, the ginger. I respect the hell out of that ginger, Mr. Uh, suck. Maybe I added a bit too much, it's a bit overpowering. And the chocolate taste uh, needs a little bit of oomph, like... Uh, I, I would have added some salt. I'm sorry, I think this is a 6.5 for me. I just have to be honest, okay? Next, we're gonna do hot chocolate from a cacao pod by Nick Di Giovanni. But I'm just gonna follow the recipe with just normal, regular cocoa powder because I assume uh, you don't have cacao pods at home. Now, Nick works with whole milk and a little splash of heavy cream for his base mixture. Then we add some cocoa powder, a bit of sugar, a significant amount of dark chocolate, some vanilla extract, and I have haven't even gotten to the good part yet. And then I have a trick that's gonna blow your mind. Add your hot chocolate to a blender, then crank it up. So I was gonna use my blender for this until I literally cracked it right before filming this part. So I'll just use my food processor. I mean, what's the difference? I actually don't know. And it is indeed foamy. I'm gonna try to replicate his big ass marshmallow with uh, two of mine. Torch that big boy and it's time to taste. Now he did have a homemade marshmallow on top, but to me, it's really not about the toppings. I just wanna feel the taste of the actual liquid. He's right, it is foamy. It is like silky smooth, airy. The thing is, it's really good, but I, I want something more from it. Still though, this is a this is a solid 8. 8 out of 10. Mr. Nick, I appreciate you. Next we have a video from Binging with Babish, Flanders Hot Chocolate from the Simpsons movie. 11 million views. And in this video, Andrew actually talks about his preferred way to do hot chocolate, so we're just gonna follow it. So for this one, we're starting off with a mixture of whole milk, cream, and sweetened condensed milk which uh, I obviously cannot open properly. Get all those things in a pot of medium heat, and we're gonna add some cocoa powder and some of our dark chocolate. Stir it around a bit, and it's time to make this thing uh, taste. We're gonna add some sugar, then a pinch of salt, 
some cinnamon, and some instant coffee powder. This is his secret ingredient. And if you really want to turn things up to 11, add a teaspoon of instant coffee. And you know the smell of this chocolate? I just couldn't handle it. <laughs> Uh, whip some whipped cream on top of this boy and top it off with a graham cracker and light a marshmallow on fire, Babish style. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that is excellent. Andrew, what have you done? There's something about this that is really good, like deep in flavor. I'm giving, I have to give this a 9.5. I'm gonna leave room for something better. But 9.5 for this. God, I drank so much hot chocolate. And finally, we have Mr. Joshua Wiseman with how to make the best hot chocolate of all time. Is it gonna be the best? Let's see. For this one, we're actually gonna start with the chocolate and a little splash of milk just to get it melted in there. Add some cocoa powder and some sugar, and now we have a thick chocolatey goodness. We will slowly pour our cold milk while constantly stirring until we reach our desired consistency. It should be pretty liquidy at this point. And now Josh's secret is mixing cornstarch and a bit of milk and adding that in to the chocolate mixture in order to thicken it up. So just get it in and stir it for a couple of minutes, and I gotta say, it became pretty thick. Look at that! It is thick. 18 C's. Now I gotta whip up some real cream and uh, that took way longer than I expected. Uh. And just deposit a dollop of that on my hot chocolate along with some chocolate shavings. And there we go, Joshua Wiseman hot chocolate. Okay, let's see Mr. Joshua Wiseman. Oh, I wanna show you something. I actually have the Joshua Wiseman cookbook. You know, I'm just gonna say it. I'm a, I'm a huge fan, so I'm kind of rooting for you, Mr. Wiseman. Oh my god. Mmm. The texture is just incredible. But it almost feels like more of a dessert. I have to compare. Okay, here I have Babish and Joshua Wiseman. I think these are the two contenders. Oh. I gave this a 9.5. I'm gonna give this a 9.4. Because uh, they're really close. So, congratulations. Mr. Uh, Andrew Ray from Binging with Babish, DM me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much for sticking around. If you are not subscribed, what the hell are you doing? Just subscribe. And if you have other video suggestions, if you want to see me do something specific, make sure to drop a comment or DM me or whatever. Uh, I will respond to every single one of you because I, I love you. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.